All right, now we're testing broadhead accuracy at about 35. Got 200 grain ethics inserts, 100 grain field points. Yeah, I know I said testing broadhead accuracy, but if your bow's tuned, your field points should fly just like your broadhead, especially with what I'm going this year. Magnus Stinger, two blades, heavy art arrows. Uh, they're flying really, really straight, so I have no complaints. Of course, I will screw on my broadheads, just waiting for those in the mail, but let's see how these two group up, and I'll go and take another video up there. All right, so as I've been kind of going through the paces with these arrows, just I'm only probably shooting probably 235 feet per second, something like that. Um, but as you can see, it really doesn't matter. This is almost a brand new foam target. And here's one pretty much buried. And that's in brand, brand new foam. And thank God I knocked two of them and keep the sharp now. Pull this one out. And that's almost a complete pass through on the back. This one out. That's why I made two practice arrows, just because I know they'll get all messed up. I'm shooting into hay bales for neighbor's sake and everything, but these things have some serious... And I've noticed as well... The longer the distance shot, it seems like the arrow, you know, figures it out and straightens it out and, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It it stops the twizzler effect basically like 20 yards and in. I'm shooting 300 spine, like I said, 300 grains up front, 200 in insert, 100 on the head, and they're just blasting through this target. I've had to put two targets together. Uh, I've had to stack a bunch of hay bales behind with wood. They just blast through the target, and uh, I really can't wait and see what they're going to do on some animals this year. But stay tuned. We will have some great video. Final review here at 40 yards. Top one's field point, bottom's broadhead. Out here, hunting whitetail. That's nothing. That's something that is, uh, you know... Worst case scenario, 40 yard shot. We're mostly taking our shots 30 yards and in. Large hogs, but this is something that I definitely wanted to prove is, and this is a newer target as well, that these heavy arrows, this is a six, it's a 300 spine axis. It doesn't recover in flight, as I should say, and it actually gains speed the further you're shooting. Say 20 yards, I'm only getting half the penetration so I switch out to 40 yards and I'm getting probably full pass-throughs on a block target and I have to put another field point bag behind it so basically all of Ashby's you know Dr. Ed Ashby the one who started all this heavy weight movement but ethics archery 125 to 200 grain inserts you can't go wrong you can shoot your same 100 grain heads you don't have to get fancy. I'm shooting the Magnus uh, Stinger Buzz Cut with the Bleeder Blades this year. So, with the Axis 300, 10.7 grains per inch, these are some death darts.